Hello and welcome to another ePlan Tips and Tricks. Um, I'm going to be going through automated numbering today. Um, there's a few different bits we can use as automated numbering. Does that mean device numbering? Does it mean cable numbering? Wide numbering? Uh, page numbering? It could be almost all of them. Um, so we'll concentrate on two of them today. First one that we're going to do is device numbering. So if I place an item onto a page, so I place a device, so insert and device, I go into my pot database, I pick up maybe a contact there, I could pick out a switch, let's go for a little switch in here, so switch and switch push button, Schneider one in here, so green light block, integrated section, I don't want a green light head, complete push button, brilliant, it's just what I need, I bring it up onto here, it doesn't look much like a push button to me, so I can choose a different symbol if need be, so I choose onto my symbol selection, I click on the switch and push button and I can say, okay, I want an indented switch. That's a much nicer one for me. Click it in place and as you can see, S1 is automatically placed in there. As I move to the next one, you can see onto my mouse, S2 is already in place. I click it down, I now have an S2. And you see S3 pops up into place as well. This is done through device numbering. We can go and have a look at the settings for that in a second. Okay, but you can see there, S1, S2, S3. If I right click and I synchronize my selection into my device navigator, I can see S1, S2, S3 in there. If I highlight those three, right click, number DT, I can use a different way of numbering these. So I can use a different format, I can use uh, Identify Counter, which we're running on now. I can go back in to my Options Settings, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have pressed that one, but Options and Settings. I can go into my Project Settings. Uh, into devices, device, numbering, offline, and in here I can make a new scheme. So I may want um, page ident counter, or I might want page ident and column. So again, different ways of doing it. So I pick onto page, num the minimum, minimum, uh, minimum number of digits is two. So if you're on page one, you get an 01, you're on page two, you get an 02, so on and so forth. I want my page above my identifier. I've gone for column on here, so I don't need my counter. I click onto column. Again, minimum number of digits I want is zero. So I now have page, identifier, column. I click on OK and now have a new scheme. Right click number DT. There we have page, identifier, column. I can do it for the whole project. I can see a preview of my result. I can number those controlled by PLCs, or I can even do cables with a DT source and target. Those numbered by PLC, if you didn't know, ePlan can also number devices via a PLC set. We'll see that in a second. I click OK. I press OK again. And you can see in here, I'm on page 2, so I get 02. I'm in ESC, being a switch. I'm in column 153, 154, and column 155. So again, that is done quite simply. Again. Okay. Okay, so I said you can do things via PLC as well. So I highlight the section I want. I go to project data, devices, number using PLC data. I click onto my device set. I click OK. And I can now see I can change my switches to have my details from my PLC. So in here, it is an S, i.e. for switch. It's an IX15.2, and that matches up with the IX15.2 from here 15.3 15.4 and i can see it's done the same on there as well not only will it do it to inputs it will also do it to outputs too so again if i head down to my plc section in here i highlight the area i want to name project data devices number plc i want a device set please and now i can rename all of the devices as it goes down here so, making it, again, very simple, very easy for me to place it down. It's got the equal CO because that comes from the CO section. Again, they can be changed using my block properties if need be. But again, you'll see that even on the other page, they've automatically switched over to where they need to be. Again, just makes life a little bit easier having to do numbering via PLC sets as well. Okay, so first of all, that's device numbering done. For Y numbering, again, it gets to a whole bigger area, but... Again, I'm going to Y number section E1. I go project data, connections, numbering, place. I place the items down. And you can see here I get my markers. 
and again project data connections numbering enter designation again i generally don't do this for fun i generally use the little shortcuts that i have again by pressing ok i can now see i can number either via a plc set i can number via an l1 and l2 I can number via 24 and 0 volts, depending upon what I want it to do. So L1, L2, and L3 in there as well. So again, making it very simple and very easy for you to get your automated numbering done and dusted. Thank you for your time.